Hey y'all, it's Kadisha. I'm back with another video. I know what you're thinking already. This girl likes to sit in her car and she likes to wear sunglasses. And you are correct with both of those. <laughs> but um, anyway, I'm going to try to like hold my head down so you won't see the reflection so much in the, um, in the screen. So yeah, what I wanted to talk about today is just having standards and knowing what your standards are. And I think that just comes from um, knowing your identity. And so, yeah, what I want to talk about is like being bold and courageous in the face of adversity. And that's so hard. Sometimes we often don't do that because I'm sorry, y'all, people are, are coming here and watching. <laughs> and I'm like, hold on. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm about to learn how to edit and cut because, yeah, uh, I'm still getting used to recording and stuff while people are watching but anyway so um yes and the reason why i wanted to talk about this is because this just happened to me and like i said i always want to encourage somebody else because uh things don't just happen for us they actually happen for other people um and i wouldn't say for other people but you got through it so you'll be able to help the next person get through it as well so yes i had a situation where um it came up to where I was wanting um, somebody wanted me to do something and at first I was okay with it but then um, I had like a check in my spirit like no you shouldn't do that and so of course when and I guess it's kind of go back to people pleasing when you always tell somebody yes all the time it's kind of hard to tell them no and the fact that you tell them no can you know kind of put them at ease because you're always so um quick to say yeah because you're you know you're a helping person and not to say that you're wrong or they're wrong for feeling that way it's just like the human part of us we want to basically um have it our way you know so yeah this person asked me to do something i was like yeah you know i'll do it, it didn't seem too big of a deal but then it was like, well, you can start it tomorrow. And I was like, okay. So, um, but after I said, yeah, like I kind of thought about it and I was like, mm, I don't know if I should do that. And so um, I was like, all right, you know, and I kind of forgot about it because it was, wasn't until the next day that it was wanted of me. So yeah, I was like, okay. And um, the next day came and I was just contemplating back and forth back and forth about it and I was like I don't know if I can you know do this or I was basically trying to find a way to go ahead and do it even though my spirit was like no you shouldn't do it and you don't want to go back and forth with your spirit if you know you shouldn't do something then the bible calls that sin like if you know you're like if you feel like I should not be doing this and you're doing it anyway that's considered sin and so me I was trying to find reason as to why I could go ahead and do it because I didn't think it was a big deal but my spirit had something like no, you know, had like a no in it. So it was finally come time where it was time for me to do it. And I had to, you know, tell them like, no, I can't do it. And the first thing they were like, well, why? You know, why is this? And I was just like, you know, I just gave a, you know, easy answer, which you don't have to explain. And that's just sometimes that we think we have to tell people why we don't want to do something. No, I don't have to tell you. And this is not, children. This is not to you about your parents. No, you have to... Uh, <laughs> listen to your parents don't be i want an explanation from your parents but i'm talking about whether you're in the workplace or whatever if you feel led to lead or uh feel led to tell somebody then go ahead and do that but if you don't then you know don't worry about it just like no or whatever the case may be let your answer be short um like the word of god says let your answer be yes or no not you know contemplating about going back and forth so yeah uh sorry i nobody else come through <laughs> oh, okay um so yeah and i was just like all right and and they were like okay you know they didn't really i wouldn't say they got offended by it but they were just kind of i guess shocked that i said no and i had to you know stand in that and just like no i'm not okay doing it and you know that's just that's just sad and, and that could be anything and um it's going to take some time, especially in these days where we're bold and courageous because right is considered wrong and wrong is considered right nowadays. So when you go against something that you know in your heart, you know, is is the right thing or the wrong thing to do. Like if you go against that, that is, you know, that's not good. And that's basically um, 
making you more susceptible of you know peer pressure or you know doing things that don't align to what you know is the correct thing that you should be doing i hope i'm making sense with this so but this is more so encouraging uh, hopefully an encouraging message and help you to be bold because i stepped out and did it and it was and i'm not scared to say tell people no i'm not scared to say that at all but if it's just something i feel like that's simple like why would i have to say no to this you know that's super simple and if you can't say no to the simple things how much more will you be, not be able to say no to things that are much greater you know it first starts small and then get you know it gets bigger so if you continue to say like yes to smaller things that you're like oh this is nothing then after a while it will be bigger things that you have to say you know uh no to that will be hard because you couldn't even say no in this in this smaller area and i don't think we realize that sometimes we just overlook small things thinking like oh that's nothing and it's like no it's the little things that truly do matter and they're going to shape you into who you are and so uh yeah i want you to know who you are of course in god and that's how you can be able to stand up in the face of adversity and say no i'm not going to do this or no this not a line and you're not going to uh, have to explain or feel less than because you didn't or you know because you didn't do it or you did do it or you know whatever it is so um yeah y'all i hope this message wasn't all the way around but this is just about standards having your standards in place knowing what you will and won't do and you know sticking behind that in the face of whoever it is because it could be you know like well i can get fired if i don't do this and we have to realize okay if that goes against what god is saying then i'm gonna put at risk being fired because at the end of the day god is the one who gave me this job so if i get fired for standing up for what god has told me to do then the lord must have another job for me you know and we have to think that way and of course it's hard in the face of it to actually think oh yeah the lord has another job for me it's like no what am i going to do right you know right in this instance but uh yes y'all be bold be courageous in everything you do and of course uh submit yourself to the lord because he will give you um everything that you need to be able to face the battle that you're facing so yes y'all that is it for today i hope you're having a great day so far and like I always say, y'all, um, be the change that you want to be. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, <laughs> I haven't quite gotten it yet. Be the change that you want to see in someone else. Until next time, bye.